Okay, so the volume is finally built here. And so I'm just gonna do a little maintenance here, walk through all the, the menus, uh, see if there's anything else I wanna change. Uh, we don't have any users except for the admin. We don't have any groups yet, but that's okay. We'll get working on that later. Uh, collaboration, I'm going to turn guest invitations on and project collaboration uh, on and just kind of go through these blah 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 FTP servers on if you want to use that NFS is on uh, everything looks good the array is ready we got our local storage um, snapshots I'm going to uh, not take any snapshots yet but I want to have scheduled snapshots so I'm gonna do a daily one at uh, 12 a.m. So if you want to do anything more than that, you can tweak with some of the settings. I'm going to go through the standard policy, get that going. iSCSI, no targets, power management, it looks good. File indexing, I'm going to turn that on. Uh, that can be very useful. Uh, here are all the log viewers, syslog, log viewer, um, and you can start looking through some of this stuff um, you know look for warnings errors whether it's a system local backup uh, access you can see uh, me accessing this device here um, you can configure alerts we're not going to do any of that yet put in your own mail server um, and then the cloud services which is going to be the next step um, another thing I'm going to do is connect to cloud services uh, later in this video but um, last thing I want to change is I'm going to change the date and time we're not in Saskatchewan uh, I'm in the central time I'm going to sync with a time server get going here language English good to go and uh, one thing you see here is firmware we're per currently on 6.0.210 um, that is not the latest version, but I want to make sure if there are new versions published that I get those updates. Um, you can either install it here or the best way is to subscribe to cloud services. So I'm going to do that right now. So we were given a, we we're given a team portal upon sign up, and uh, I was given credentials. So I'm going to log in with that right now. And here is our team portal for collaboration and whatnot. So you can see, don't have any devices, don't have any users. Um, but we can we can add some users here. I don't want to add a device as an admin at this point. Um, so I'm going to go to the administration area, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add add myself here. So Aaron. Aaron was an IO firm end user. Everything else looks good. No expiration. Uh, no groups created, so not going to do that. Provisioning. I'll let automatic provisioning uh, go for now, but we'll go over what plans you can create later. Advanced. I leave. I'm going to leave that alone, and we're going to hit save. At this point, um, will be uh, this user would be email credentials. So if it was somebody on your team, they would get an email uh, with the username and password, so they could quickly log in or uh, connect their device. And connecting the device is what we're going to do next. So, um, so as a user, we just got that email, and we're going to connect to io-team.vports. Dot net because that is where our team portal is at and we're going to get it synced up here hope that everything goes well uh, let's see did I do uh, username is Aaron put my password in here hope it all syncs up
And it looks like it's working here. So I know it says device is unlicensed, but it's just kind of just kind of initializing everything. So uh, as you can see here, I am now connected. I'm authorized. I get firmware updates. So so as a as the portal gets uh, new firmware and whatnot, it'll update my local device here. Cloud backup uh, not subscribed. Antivirus not subscribed. You can see what services we are getting, what services we aren't. Um, currently it says remote access is not on so we want to change that so we can access our device remotely but the important thing of this video is showing you how to connect to a Cetera portal with your device uh, creating a user so you can log in with that user who owns that device and we'll go over some further stuff such as mapping mapping the device um, logging in uh, remotely via the cloud to your device or to your cloud drive and that will be in a future video. Thank you.